The House of Representatives is now without a speaker. So who will succeed? Kevin McCarthy. Joining me now to talk about that is Republican Congressman Dave Joyce, who is a supporter of Kevin McCarthy. Thank you so much for joining me. It is very clearly raw when it comes to the emotions up there. Uh, how are you feeling today, and what are your thoughts on what you witnessed and what you were a part of yesterday? Well, Dana, it's always a pleasure to be with you. Uh, obviously, you're, you hit it right on the head, as always. Uh, emotions are raw, and so I think it was important that we did take the time out last night because I think we could have been uh, physical after a while because the, the eight that defied the other 210 in the conference uh, were walking around like they actually accomplished something and the rest of us were wondering where we're going to go from here. And so feelings are raw and I've encouraged my members of the Republican Governance Group, look, take this time, listen to everybody. Uh, go home, be with your family, pet the dog, have a cookout, and when we get back here next Tuesday, let's regroup and take into consideration all the things we've heard and take actions then, because I think you know, people tend to be a little rash when their emotions are on edge. Jim Jordan uh, announced that he is running for speaker. Could you support him? Uh, you know, uh, I've heard a number of names, and like I said, I've urged my group, and I continue to urge everyone, including myself, to uh, hold our powder, if you will, and wait till we get it to the other side and, and look at what, however many candidates emerge and then uh, talk about the issues then. But I'll tell you one issue that I'm not going to let up on, and I'm not going to agree with anybody until they're with us on, is the fact that we can't have uh, one person be able to do this. You know, you get a ringmaster who enjoys, uh, he and his buddies, the self-flagellation of going out there and saying they're accomplishing something and they're fighting for the people. By doing what? By grinding this place to a halt so we can't get our work done? That's nonsense, and it needs to change. I wasn't a fan of it when Kevin relented on it, but Kevin thought, you know, by doing, as he had done, doing everything he was supposed to do, it wouldn't come up. But, you know, sometimes forget about the uh, perverse uh, antics of some of these folks that they'd rather fundraise you, than actually fix things. You uh, mentioned earlier that you're happy about the House taking a breath, taking a, a week to try to figure out what's next. But it is true that the House is paralyzed uh, for a week until that happens. I want you to listen to, I think, the person you were referring to when you said ringleader, Matt Gates, what he said about that. But instead, whoa, these people have got to go home and cry for a week? They've got to go do a week of hand-wringing and bedwetting over the fact that Kevin McCarthy isn't speaker anymore? This institution is about more than one man. Your response? He's pathetic. I mean, let's face it. You can't go on like that. Why are we shut down? Because of his antics and because of what he did. He knows damn well when he stripped the speaker of his uh, duties, then we're powerless to move forward. We have the bills that he's talking about all stacked up. We've had them stacked up Should since the end of July. Should he and the other seven be kicked out of the conference? Well, I don't see how they can really be part of a conference when they uh, stand on the, they come on the inside, listen to what's going on, and go outside and lop bombs in the middle. Sounds like that's a yes. Yeah, well, you know, I think it's a, again, I'm one of those who's a ground up thing, so I think it's important that everybody have an opposite opportunity to take in what's happening and then make a collective decision when we get back. But if it was up to me, I'd vote for it. I mean, it's a waste of time having conversations with these people. And I think we need to start do, work, working and going forward as a unified group. Congressman Dave Joyce, uh, thank you so much for coming on. Next time, we will definitely uh, have more time. Come back when you make a decision on who you want to be speaker, please. Will do. Thank you very much. Have okay. a great day. I want to get the other perspective now. One of the eight Republicans who voted to oust Kevin McCarthy, Congressman Bob Good of Virginia. You just heard Dave Joyce say that you and the other seven should be kicked out of the conference. Well, we're focused on selecting the best possible person for speaker. We're going to have a contest and a competition, not a coronation. For the first time in how long we won't have a presumptive speaker, the, the sort of next in line where you're supposed to fall in line and you can't uh, threaten the throne by raising your hand and saying that you're a challenger without fear of retaliation and consequence. Members can freely, freely raise their hand and say they want to run for speaker. They can freely express who they might support or who they're favoring or what they're looking for in a speaker. And, and we will vet those candidates, debate those candidates. And quite frankly, this will be a win for the American people. So you're not worried It'll be about a win getting for the Republican out of the conference? conference. 
I'm focused on doing the best for the country. That's what this okay. was about. That's what January was about. That this, that's what this was about yesterday. This was a blow against the uniparty system, the swamp cartel, the system that has given us $33 trillion in national debt and $2 trillion in a deficit this year, that has Congress at a 20% approval rating and 80% of Americans saying we're on the wrong direction, heading the wrong direction, I should say. I want you to listen say. to what uh, Kevin McCarthy said about the arguments that you're wake making right now, because he basically says he doesn't believe you that you're a conservative. They don't get to say they're conservative because they're angry and they're chaotic. That's not the party I belong to. The party of Reagan was if you believed in your principles that you could govern in a conservative way. They are not conservatives and they do not have the right to have the title. Your response? Well, uh, I'm, I can understand Kevin is upset, but I don't think most Republicans would say Kevin is the one who measures what is a conservative and what isn't. Certainly, if he had fought for our conservative principles, if his, if his anger and his fighting spirit was intense towards the border and towards the reckless Democrat spending and towards the weaponization of the federal government against his citizens, and if he was as committed to keeping his commitment to uh, bring our bills to the floor for a vote well before the September 30 deadline, to bring a balanced budget, to not let the Democrats roll us with a debt ceiling agreement or not roll us with the, the CR that just passed with 209 yeah. Democrat votes in the House and 51 in the Senate, uh, th th then perhaps he would still be Speaker. You uh, have to decide who is going to be Speaker. You're obviously going to get a vote as a member of Congress. Jim Jordan confirms that he's running. Will you support him? I'm going to wait until we have the candidate forum. Uh, I've got candidates reaching out to me. And as I told folks who said, oh, you don't have a plan, you don't have a candidate, they said that back in January and they said that before yesterday when we all knew that no one was going to be a public candidate until there was no speaker or no presumptive speaker. So now we'll have that contest, a healthy so competition, you haven't decided who you a healthy want. struggle. I uh, haven't decided, and, and, and there's, there's several candidates I think are qualified and capable and experienced, have stature and credibility and influence within the conference. So w the great thing is it will unify us to come together. We will have to so come you, together and with 218, hopefully 221 in the conference meetings, uh, hopefully just a day it takes. Maybe it'll take two or three days. It's were, better to get it right than to, do it, than to do it wrong quickly, and then hopefully we'll come to the floor with all 221 voting for it on the first ballot. Fewer than six weeks until the government shuts down again. If whomever the next speaker is cuts a deal with Democrats or deigns to um, get Democratic votes to keep the government open, will you do the same thing to that speaker? Well, the good news is we will be uh, together assessing those candidates and getting what, what is their plan, what is their strategy, what are their commitments, uh, what will they do differently. And, uh, Again, if, if 221 of us vote for that speaker, we have a vested interest not only to doing what's best for the country, which should be paramount, but secondly, what helps us to advance our true conservative principles and to do our best to stop the Biden-Pelosi-Schumer regime. Obviously, Kevin McCarthy Thank has you. left the incoming speaker in a tough spot because he didn't pass but for the, sp the spending bills. He didn't keep his commitments. So that speaker has the deadline of the calendar uh, threatening him as well. Congressman Bob Good, Republican of Virginia, thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate it. Thank you. Great to be with you.